Mr. Magic, who at that time in the mid 80s was the pinnacle and the height of what it meant to be an on-air DJ who played hip hop music. He was the man um, known around the world, Mr. Magic's Rap Attack. And here you had up and coming artists, KRS One, Scott LaRock, uh, bringing their record to Mr. Magic and him not feeling it. This is how we barge in. Yo, this is Boogie Down Productions, KRS, Scott LaRock. Here's our tip. We're performing right there, <laughs> like this. So obviously, Mr. Magic is like, who are you? Get out of here. And at the same time, Mr. Magic was also supporting uh, a number of MCs that included Master Ace and Craig G and Big Daddy Kane and all these other folks that were collectively just called the Juice Crew. We leave frustrated. Magic dissed us. He wouldn't even give us the time. He wouldn't even, who he think he is. Now, somewhere along the line, we get the impression that Mr. Magic said our tape was whack, whack, whack. He heard it and said it was garbage. I said, garbage? MC Shan is garbage. So I went back to my shelter, sitting amongst 600 men, <laughs> bugging out. I'm sitting on the edge of my bed. I'm writing, South Bronx, South, South Bronx, South Bronx. So my issue was what MC Shan said in the record. You love to hear the story again and again about how it all got started way back when. The monument is right in your face. Sit and listen for a while to the name of the place. The bridge. The bridge, the bridge, the bridge, the bridge. Queens Bridge. I said, uh-uh. It was $25 an hour for an eight-track studio. We were there two hours, $50, a lot of money. That, that, what you hear on the South Bronx is one take. Scott was complaining that I took too long. The guy didn't even mix the records, no mix. And we kept one, and we gave one to Red Alert. DJ Red Alert, one of New York's premier club and radio DJs, played parties at New York's Latin Quarters. And that's when your heart stops, right there. Heart stops. Because right then and there, Red Alert can tell you to get out. It's corny. Look, man, you ain't got a shot. Red Alert will tell you in a minute. Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't like the record. You, you don't have a shot. And your career's over. Yeah. Wait, and one song goes on. When he gonna play the record? He probably don't like it. Now the song go on. Boom, our song comes on. The whole place stops. Yo, what's up, Blastmaster KRS-1? And then doing like this. And by the time we got to, and I'm from the South Bronx, the South South Bronx place erupted. South Bronx, South Bronx, South Bronx, South Bronx, South Bronx. Red Alert played that record three times in a row. Play nothing else. After the chorus went, the crowd, every he tried to put on another record, they sang the South Bronx chant over that record. So he'd have to put it on again and put it on again. You can't imagine the feeling. Fresh for 86, suckers. 